Hey, you probably heard about the three billy goat gruffs, but have you heard about the three ankylosaurus gruffs? I'll show you. And afterwards, we'll draw an ankylosaurus. Once upon a time, millions and millions of years ago, there were three bull ankylosauruses named Gruff. Hey, let's go to the other side. The plants look greener. Yeah, definitely greener there. Come on, let's go get fat. On the way to the other greener side, the three ankylosauruses had to cross a bridge. And under the bridge, Lived a great ugly Spinosaurus with a sharp teeth and claws as big as your head. First came the smallest Ankylosaurus Gruff. Boom, bang, boom, went the bridge. Who's that banging over my bridge? roared the Spinosaurus. Oh, it's only I, the tiniest Ankylosaurus Gruff, and I'm going to the other side to get fat said the Ankylosaurus. No, I'm gonna gobble you up, said the Spinosaurus. Oh, please, pray don't take me. I'm too little, said the Ankylosaurus. Wait until the second Ankylosaurus crop comes. He's much bigger. Mm, bigger, you say? Well then, be off with you. A little while later, the second Ankylosaurus Gruff came to cross the bridge. Boom, boom, bang, bang, boom, boom, went the bridge. Who's that banging over my bridge? roared the Spinosaurus. Oh, it, it's only I, the second Ankylosaurus Gruff. And I'm going to the other side to get fat, said the Ankylosaurus. No, I'm going to gobble you up, said the Spinosaurus. Oh, no, no, please don't eat me. W wait until the big Ankylosaurus Gruff comes. He's the biggest. Oh, biggest, you say? Well then, be off with you. Just then, the big Ankylosaurus Gruff came. Bang, bang, boom, boom, kaboom, went the bridge. For the big Ankylosaurus was so big, the bridge cracked and crumbled. Who's that booming over my bridge? Roared the Spinosaurus. It's I, the big Ankylosaurus growl. Now, I'm gonna gobble you up, roared the Spinosaurus. No, said the big Ankylosaurus. And he calmly swung his tail and knocked the Spinosaurus over the bridge and way over to the other side, the not so green side. And the three Ankylosaurus gruffs got very, very fat. Hmm, do these taste the same to you? Actually, I think the other side was better. Ugh, I can't move. Okay, lesson of the story. Bigger is not always better. And greener is not always greener? Hmm. Okay, let's draw an Ankylosaurus. Okay, so first I'm just gonna open up Google Images and look at pictures of Ankylosauruses. Good idea. Um, these are all kind of different, but I kind of I get the shape of the body and the tail and the head. And I think I got the idea. So using that, um, here, I'll start with by drawing the body in a kind of round rock-like shape. So it's kind of a little bit flatter on the bottom. And for the head, looking like a petal shape. And the tail is like a triangle and a circle for the club. And then for feet, just rectangles. All simple shapes. But I think they kind of have the gist of what an ankylosaurus looks like. And I could just... Um, over erase these overlapping lines. Um, just pick out the ones that shouldn't be here. Just erase 
race, race. Okay, and now um, for the horns on the head, um, just draw spikes like these little triangles, um, radiating out, or or maybe maybe I'll curve them a bit. Yeah, make it look more like a, a billy goat. <laughs> and then for the the spikes on his back, um, you could draw big spikes like this. It's, or or maybe just something smaller yeah a little more bumpy spikes on his back like that and then let's just have two more lines of spikes I'm just gonna draw a little guide to help me so I could race that later but this helps me line up where the spikes should be uh, yeah that looks good yeah I'll just erase these the little guide marks Okay, um, for his mouth, let's just make it look like a little beak and the eye. There you go, here's our Ankylosaurus. And to color him in, I'll use a different layer. I'll put that underneath. What color should we do? How about we do green, like our, our big Ankylosaurus? How about that? There we go. So I just color him in. Color, 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 color. A little bit smaller to get in here. And if I color outside the lines, I don't really care too much because I could just go back and erase those. Okay. Those in. Looks good. Very green. Um, and maybe I'll just erase these little parts where I went over the line. Okay, looks good. Um, maybe a little bit darker green for the little spikes so that they stand out more. Yeah. Kind of pop. So let's color each one of these triangles. Nice. And maybe for his horn, I'll do like a brighter orange so that they stand out a lot more. I like his horns on the head. They're funny. And a different color for the tail. Maybe his mouth also. So it kind of has some contrast, different colors at the end and the front. And just give him a little squiggle here for toes. Look like there's some kind of toes there. And his eyes. Great! Um, I'm just gonna shade him in now. Uh, maybe a darker green. Looks a little bit more 3D. The bottom part of him under his belly. Maybe the back leg. So the farther away is dark. Shade him in. Just a little touch. And that's it! There's our Ankylosaurus. Hey, I hope that was fun and helpful for you guys. Be sure to subscribe for more stories from me. I am E.B. Adams, children's author on YouTube. Thanks for watching. More stories here, there. Check them out.